Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. Really appreciate you. We do not take you for granted and we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you once again, my people. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is shocking. Regarding the ongoing um, Fulani headsmen crisis and farmers in different communities, you know, the evacuation notice given to Fulani headsmen in your state and also on those states. And then what's been going on in the country. <laughs> And even um, Sheikh Gumi, the Islamic cleric, they have been going about who claims he knows where bandits and all of um, these um, terrorists are, where they reside. He knows their grievances and um, what is um, pushing them to commit all of this criminal act. Very shocking, isn't it? Very, very shocking. Our government leaders, they know very well of this person who goes about um, with terrorists, but um, they are unable to do anything. They are unable to even get hold of him. Let him be arrested and let him point them to the hideout of all of um, these criminals. Anyway, guys, um, the news we're getting right now is that headsmen are demanding 450 billion naira from the federal government as a compensation for their loss. Quite really, really shocking. They are talking about loss and they are the ones who started uh, um, this, uh, um, this crisis, you know. Akere Dolo started by stating that um, the activities has gone, has reached the roof. It's unbearable. They can't bear it anymore. You know, the forest reserves in um, on those states where Akere Dolo uh, drove them out from stated that that location has been used as a kidnapping den. They use it as hideouts. They use it for collecting ransom. All sorts of criminal uh, action, name it, that's what they use it for. And you know, they, they've been terrorizing farmers as well forcefully taking over their farmlands and these full and headsmen they go about with ak-47 <laughs> recall what embauchi state governor stated very shameful that um full and headsmen have the right to go about with ak-47 so imagine these guys going into the farm to attack farmers with ak-47 what is left of the farmers what will be left of their lives They've committed so many havoc, killed so many persons, maimed, raped, all sorts of criminal activities, name it, is on their head. Right now, they are the ones demanding. Very shocking, very surprising. And we don't blame them. Do we blame them? It's because they know very well that um, the federal government is supporting them, President Mohamed Buhari and the northern governors. They are all in support of all these Fulani headsmen. Because even with the quit notice given to them, the Yoruba activist, Sunday Igboho, who stood up in Oyo State, no support no one is supporting him and then um, the federal government has not taken any stance that this is our position we are not in support of fulani headsmen even wrote to me akere dolo gave president muhammad Buhari a challenge that tell us where you stand what your position is regarding this issue up to date Buhari has not said anything so the body language disposition we know very well that these guys are definitely supporting fulani headsmen and here they are asking for compensation so who will compensate the farmers that have lost their lives? Who will compensate uh, um, the, the p innocent people that have been killed as a result of kidnapping? Because they kidnap victims. Sometimes, even after collecting huge ransoms, they still end up killing their victims. We've had so many accounts, so many reports. We remember that uh, the man from um, the United States, a United States citizen who just returned back home to spend time with his family um, over the festive period to also... Um, attend his father's burial, how he was kidnapped after collecting ransom. After ransom was collected, he was killed. So sad, so unfortunate. And the, the federal government, they are hearing all of this report, too, but still, they are still supporting Fulani Headsmen. Anyway, guys, we'll get more details as to all that is going on right now. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Following the recent opera in the country and killing and maiming of innocent members of the country by the so-called Fulani Headsmen, is becoming rampant in our society as Fulani headsmen took over the country and started wrecking havoc in our own country. It is not a new thing as they have been seen in several occasions robbing people on the highway in the night. Recently, farmers in the rural areas are unable to farm again due to the headsmen mayhem and havoc done in their farms. Many farmers have been killed in their farms when they try to complain against this headsmen behavior. Recently, the society has grown sick of them 
And with the crisis of the Yoruba warlord and activists such as Sunday Igboho, people have turned against them to attack them. Yesterday, in an interview with the pressmen in Abuja, their union leader have called on to the federal government to act on the killings of their members. Tahi demanded 450 billion naira compensation from the government for the losses suffered by the union members and the dismantling of illegal roadblocks on the highway. He stated the federal government of Nigeria under President Mohamed Buhari should immediately revisit our demands at various times to address the issues which include but not limited to compensation for lives and properties lost, protect the rights of our members while on the transit and at their places of doing business to draw an agreement between the state government and the union that henceforth, if any violence erupted in that state and our members are attacked, we will not hesitate to immediately withdraw our services. Addressing journalists in Abuja on Sunday, the president of the union, Mohamed Tahi, said the food stuff and cattle dealers had continued to suffer intimidation, humiliation and destruction of their goods. He further stated that his association has written to the president, Major General Mohamed Buhari, about the killing of his members, but no action was taken. These guys, are they are jokers, I'm thinking in my head, they are jokers. Really, really jokers. They are asking for compensation. And this has drawn, trust Nigerians, this has drawn loads of reaction. Loads of reaction. You know, at one point they stated that um, if the government don't heed um, to their demands, they, they will stop their service, what services. You know, they, 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 <laughs> that means we will not see cow to be eaten again. And there will be no cow meat. Maybe that's the services they are talking about. Nigerians have reacted. Someone stated that 450 billion is too small. Why not 450 trillion when there is no government in Nigeria with people, Fulanese, headsmen, and Boko Haram? Another person says that uh, what of the farms they destroyed? The farmers can equally ask for compensation from the federal government for peace to reign. And, you know, they are, they are threatening strike that they are going to strike. You know, like I stated, if they go on strike um, and they stop their service, uh, how will it um, affect us? So we will not see um, our meat to eat. Maybe that is the angle they are coming from. But it's so sad that these guys are thinking from a different angle. So, you know, um, the, the fight that broke out in your state, the Shasha market, where um, headsmen and, and traders clashed, it was that one was a serious one. So that is where they are coming from, that they lost a lot, that there should be compensation. The farmers, the traders that have been losing things and have even lost lives, no one has talked about compensation. These guys are jokers. Like I started with these guys, they know very well that they've got a lot of support from the uh, from presidency, from northern governors. That is why they are speaking in this manner. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.